Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you a, a tutorial on how to get your Rococo SmartSuit Pro 2 set up with Vive Pro uh, Virtual Production in order to correct drift. So one of the major issues with IMU suits is that there's drift, especially if you're moving your feet really rapidly. Um, but using a Vive Pro tractor, which I have attached to my suit, we're able to correct drift. So for VTubers, if you're going for a long period of time, you can do this and you won't be moving away. So first things first, you're going to download the demo project file that's going to be in the description of this video. This is the easiest way. After you've compiled, you're going to make sure you have a few plugins here. Um, Steam VR, and then Live Link, which should be already turned on. Coco. Studio Live. So some of these should already be um, turned on. Live Link XR. And I believe that's it. Okay. Make sure those plugins are on. And then you're going to go into the blueprint. So in the outliner, you're going to go to, there's a thing called Cube 2 Blueprint, which is this cube right here. Okay. We're really using just this cube as a default mesh. You can later on, you know, replace it with whatever you're actually going to hide it during your, you know, actual um, virtual production. You won't be seeing this cube. Go to Edit Cube, open up its blueprint event graph. Yours should look exactly like this. Um, there's a couple of adjustments that we need to make. Break that. And let's see, I'm going to do, drag it out, break transform from location, break vector 3F, ah. and then from the X, I'm going to do multiply. Here you're going to put a negative one. Drag this down, make vector. Return value, make transform. Now all this is doing is it's making an adjustment because right now um, if you try to make this work there it's going to look a little bit weird because the transforms are um, swapped around. To plug, plug that into transform. Um, it basically has to reverse um, the x and y. So here, actually, you know what? Okay, be careful right here. This is a mistake I made. Hold control right here and move this. Whoop, frozen. Uh oh, crashed. Shit. Okay. Did it crash? Okay. Okay, so make sure you're dragging from X to Y, not X, okay? And that's because we're reversing the X and Y in here. And then you're gonna drag the Y into the X. Very important here, because if you don't do this, it's gonna look um, all jacked up. Z into Z, okay? Now from here, drag the rotation over. Move this up so you can kind of see. Scale into scale. Compile, save. All right, so this should be good. You can close that. Okay, so this wouldn't be here. You're gonna go down into your details panel with the cube selected. You're gonna add live link controller. Add that. And then in the subject representation, you're going to select your tracker. So, but you know, before you can actually do that, you're going to have to have your Steam VR set up. So I'm not going to go over that workflow. That's a whole separate thing. Um, get your Steam VR working so that you know it's reading your, your tracker as well as the base stations. I've got two right here, and I've got a tracker. So make sure that's all coming through. Then you're going to go to Windows, 
um, virtual production, live link. Here you're gonna, you know, when you, when you first open yours, it's gonna look like this. Okay, add source. First, um, let's get live link set up first. So you're gonna add right there. So I've got my tracker coming through, okay? This is very important. You have to have this or else it's not gonna work. Now open up Rococo Studio, which I have already open. Get your suit, you know, connected to your actor, the name. Um, I'm not gonna go through the live streaming setup because that's already out there, but make sure your suit is working and that you're in the live stream section. You're gonna check that on. Um, you know, I'm not gonna go over this because there's tons of other tutorials that show you how to do that. Um, but, you know, go to Rococo Studio here. Make sure your suit is coming in. And so now you have all of this data coming in. Now I can go back here and, you know, your mannequin, Rococo Smart Suit Actor 1, it doesn't matter which one, but it should be matched up to your actor profile name that's in Rococo Studio. Right? So this all should be looking like that. Make sure this is checked on. The uh, zero out location and rotation on start. Now if you click simulate, my mannequin is live streaming. Okay. And now I just want to let's do a calibration. So I'm just straight pose. Okay, so you notice like the character is already being controlled by the tracker. Actually, no, it's not yet. All right, let's look at here. Oh, this is the thing I forgot. Go to subject representation on your um, little cube blueprint here, but click on live link component controller, and then select the tracker. Okay, now you see everything kind of lined up. Now the tracker is controlling the cube. I'm gonna put it in my waist, actually, because in the waist is, is actually the best position, although we do have a little spot in the back. Um, this one is actually a little better. So now we can hide the cube. I'm just gonna go here, hide that. And now my mannequin is connected to the tracker. So as long as this tracker is not floating away, my mannequin will always, my character will always be in this position. And make sure it's in view of the base stations. And you might have to adjust this a little bit. But yeah, that's a small adjustment you'll need to make if yours is like in the ground. And then if you ever reset, you need to go back and select everything. Um, but here I'm gonna hide my cube. Maybe that was what it was. Yeah, anyways, this, this is not gonna be perfect. This is a, an experimental branch of the, you know, command API in the Rococo Studio plugin. But as you can see here, I'm actually, it's actually looking pretty good. I've got um, drift correction, right? I'm not drifting away anymore. I'm going all the way back to that position, which is at the corner of this cube right here. It's not gonna be perfect, so you can't really do any like crazy spinning moves. And it's because I only have two base stations. If you have four base stations, I recommend that, so we can always see this tracker. Because as soon as the, um, it loses, side of the tracker that's when you're going to have this like weird glitch so far so good perfect for v tubing you know now i can see how i'm doing like rapid feet movement and nothing dramatic is happening okay so if i did that it kind of like i think it jittered a little bit so just be careful of, like the type of movements you're doing but this is looking pretty good and there you have it Give it a try, let me know how it goes. Um, yeah, I'll probably be updating this video once I figure out a more efficient way to do this, but this is looking pretty good.